Hello, my name is Matthew Hunter with Legacy Wilderness Academy, and I'm on a mission to document every edible and medicinal plant in the southeastern U.S. so Southerners can have greater access to nutritious food and free medicine. In this video, we're going to be looking at one of North America's most deadly plants, the poison water hemlock, and comparing it side by side with the edible and medicinal plant I have behind me, the elderberry. Stay tuned. Mind the noise, we're right next to a somewhat busy road here. And you can see uh, over here there's a drainage and then here on the left we have elderberry and on the right we have a few poison water hemlocks so you can see both of these plants can grow side by side and they uh, both like their feet wet so first let's look at the poison hemlock then we'll look at the elderberry and we'll look at the difference so as you can see here poison hemlock is an herb that grows to about six feet tall and it has these clusters of white flowers. A lot of times people will call these umbrella shaped clusters and you can see why. They have sort of a dome appearance to them, sort of a dome shaped appearance. The thing about plants in this family, the carrot family or APAC, is that they have what are known as compound umbels. An umbel is a flower cluster where all of the little uh, flower stalks come out of one point and a compound umbel is when they essentially do that twice. So you can see they're all coming out of one point right here. And then if you look at the underside of each one of these, you can see they all come out of one point right there too. That's why it's called a compound umbel because it's one umbel and then each one forms a second umbel, a compound umbel. When we take a closer look at the flowers, you can see if you look really closely, each flower has five white petals that are all separate from one another. And I'll put up a close-up of that on the screen so you can see without a doubt that poison water hemlock has separate petals. The next thing we'll look at is that poison water hemlock is an herb. As an herb, it does not have bark. It's not a tree or a shrub, it's an herb. And herbs don't have bark, okay? Elderberry is a shrub, and we're gonna look at the bark. It also, has this uh, whitish substance which we call a bloom it's similar to the whitish substance that you'll see on the outside of grapes and you can actually wipe it off with your finger just like that the leaves of poison water hemlock do look somewhat similar to elderberry at first glance this particular plant has purplish leaves but that's not always the case a lot of times they're green so this plant has bipinnately compound leaves and that means is you can see where they come out here and they will uh, split off and then they'll split a second time. So you can see there's a split here and there's a, a split here and then they'll split off into a couple leaflets. That's called bipinnately compound leaves. The upper leaves are more of just like a regular pinnately compound and this is somewhat similar to the pattern that you'll often see on elderberry. One of the things you can look for though, and this is common in the carrot family, is this enlarged sheath at the base of the leaf. So let me get closer on that and you can very clearly see that there is this sort of enlarged sheath here. Okay. Another thing about this plant is that it has alternate leaves. That means that where the leaf comes out, okay, we're not looking here at the leaf itself. That's very important. We're not looking at this like midrib, but we're looking at where the leaf actually originates on the stem it is alternately arranged. So that means there's one here, move up, there's one here, move up, there's one here. I'm gonna show you how that defers with elderberry next. So you can see the poison water hemlock on the right. Next, we'll look at the elderberry, which is on the left side of the screen. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to get my free guide to medicinal plants of the Southeast, which you can find in the link in the description below this video. First and foremost, elderberry is a shrub. Shrubs have woody bark, just like you see here, it has wood on the outside. Now you will see younger elderberry shoots that do not really look like they have bark because it's still green, but on the older branches, and you should be able to find some older ones grown in the vicinity if you see a young one, they will have bark. There's a really distinct feature of the elderberry bark in that it has these little bumps all over it. Those are called lenticels. And that's just a distinct ID feature for the elderberry. Next, we'll take a look at the structure of the elder flowers. 
and then we'll look at the flowers close up. So you can see here that elderberry has a panicle of flowers. A panicle is not the same thing as an umbel. You can see that all of the branches don't originate from a central point. We have a couple coming out here, a couple more coming out here. And then as you go up, there's like a tree-like pattern. It's not at all the same from what we looked at from that compound umbel where they all come out from a single point and then a second time from a single point. There's just sort of a random branching pattern. They do sort of branch oppositely a little bit, but uh, not at all an umbel. Take a close up look at the flowers. They look somewhat similar at first glance, but I wanna show you something. Elder flowers have petals that are connected at the base, unlike the ones we looked at on poison water hemlock, which are all separate. This becomes very obvious when you pull some off onto your hand and you can see that they form these little donuts. You can see there's like a hole in, in them because they're all connected at the base. So that's another way to separate the flowers when you're looking at them. Lastly, the leaves. Here are the pinnately compound leaves of elderberry. You can see the leaf right here where it comes out is one leaf and it has five leaflets. They can have anywhere from around five to nine leaflets and occasionally even more. You can see this one here has seven leaflets and they will occasionally be bipinnately compound, although not to the same degree as the poison water hemlock. With elderberry, the thing I see most often is the lower leaflets will have a branch coming off the main axis here and then splitting into two, making the lower part of the leaf bipinnately compound. But again, not really to the same level as poison water hemlock. But here is an even more surefire way to tell the difference when it comes to the leaves. If you look here, you can see that where the leaf comes out of the main stem, again, we're looking where this compound leaf of all these five to seven or nine leaflets comes out of the main stem, they're arranged opposite each other. That means that two leaves come out at the same place along the stem. We looked at the alternate leaves of the poison water hemlock. Also, you'll notice that that distinct sheath that we looked at that's common in the carrot family is absent on the elderberry. As you can see, there are a lot of different ways to separate poison water hemlock from elderberry, and the same thing goes with any poisonous lookalike. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hey guys, if you like this video and want to learn more about medicinal plants of the Southeast, make sure to check out my free ebook on medicinal plants, which you can get in the link below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.